Hi, welcome back. This is the PSLE Math 2025 Math Made Easy Area and Ratio question that appeared in the PSLE 2025 paper. Now, uh, the information here is based on student recall, so it won't be uh, perfect or uh, definitely there could be some things that are different. But in general, this is the information that was given and we are learning based on this. All right. So first we begin with the keywords and the keywords are that there are two identical shaded boxes, as you can see in the diagram. And there's a large rectangle ABCD. Okay. They also tell you that AB to BC is 5 is to 2. And the question is, what is the length of BC, AB? All right. So in reality, what they're asking you for is to find the length of AB, which would be the length over here. Let me show you. Okay, so really this is the question and we should put a question mark over here. The next thing you want to look at is that they have a ratio of AB to BC, which is 5 is to 2. And what that means is that this AB over here would be 5 units Sorry about that. Five units and BC would be two units. Okay. Now you can see all the rest of the dimensions in the question. And if these two shapes are identical, and I believe from the information given is that they are squares, then we can say therefore that this side of the diagram should be equivalent to this side of it. In other words, it is a square. Okay, so if this is a square, then um, the question becomes how much or what is the relationship between these two lines being, of course, five units and two units? Okay, now since this is the equivalent, since this is equal to this, then naturally we will know that the length of this portion would be 29 plus 29. Okay, so maybe we can do that as our first step. So 29 plus 29 will give us 58 centimeters. Okay, so let's just put here 58 centimeters. Okay, and uh, we know that this is 10 centimeters, and uh, we are going to assume that these two parts are equal. Okay, let's just call it x, and let's say that they are equal to, of course, the same as this. This is x, and this is also x. Right. Now, if that is the case, and this is two units, then this will be 10 plus x, and this will be 58 plus x, okay? So I want to show you how it works based on the concept of unchanged difference. So what am I talking about? Okay, let's imagine we have two lines here. Okay, so this is your AB, and this AB, as we know, is five units. Okay, so let's imagine we cut this into five parts. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? And let's say this is AB now. And then I were to take this line, which is equal to this line, which is 10 plus x, and I'm going to draw it as two units, which means that its length is over here. Okay, so this is two units. So this will be BC. All right, five units and two units. Now, this uh, line on top, is made up of two parts, okay? It is made up of one part, which is x, and another part, which is the 58. The line below is made up also of x, but the other portion is 10. This is your BC, right? Because two units is X plus 10 and five units is X plus 58, okay? Now, 
if I were to remove, or maybe for now we just ignore, we just ignore it and look at it as five and two units, my question to you is, what is the difference? Okay, if your answer is three units, then you're right. So if this is three units, and then now if I were to ignore the x, okay, so let's imagine now we were to cut off this part. Okay, from both the lines. Is the difference still three units? In other words, is the difference between the remaining for the top and the remaining for the bottom still three units? The answer is clearly yes. So we can see from here that three units is actually 58 minus 10. And that's why we get 48 cm for three units. So from here, Naturally, the next thing we can do is we can find one unit, which is 48 divided by 3, which is 16 centimeters. Okay, so if we know that one unit is 16 centimeters, then we will also be able to find out how much is two units. So two units will be 16 centimeters times 2, which is 32 centimeters. And if this is 32 centimeters, then I now know that this is 32. And of course, this is also 32. And with this, you will be able to find the value of x. Okay, you can see here clearly, this is 32, this is 10, therefore this must be 22. So we now know that the value of x is 22. Okay, maybe I'm gonna just, uh, Okay, I want to organize this a bit to make it clearer for you to see. So let me just shift this a moment. Just make this slightly smaller. And then do the same for this. So they can all be on one screen for you. Okay, maybe not that small. Okay, I was hoping to squeeze it in there. So, okay, let's just squeeze it here now so you can see everything together, okay? So you can see here that x plus 10 is 32. Same here, x plus 10 is 32. So if I take 32, I minus away 10, I will get 22 over here. So with this, we have found the value of x. So we know that x is 32 minus 10 equals to 22. And the question is, what is the length of AB? So to answer the length of AB, which means I'm going to find the five units here, which is made up of 58 plus X. So 58 plus X, and since X is 22, then it will be 58 plus 22. Okay, so that will be the answer to the question. AB is 58 plus 22 equals to 80. Uh, and I'm going to assume it's centimeters for this question, and that is the answer to the question. Okay, if you found this useful, uh, please leave a like in the comment, or let me know what you have found about this question, what you have learned, okay? And uh, you can also watch all the other videos in the playlist, which I included for the PSLE 2025 questions. And if you want to watch past exam questions, you can look at the other playlist. Okay, I'll see you at the next question. Bye-bye.